Hello boys and girls. Now, I know you've been wanting to see this for some time. I've already shot several videos, but I haven't uploaded them yet. I've showed some pictures. I'm trying to show it's uh, Sunday, January 28, 1334, uh, 37 degrees, Dallas, Yahoo. Okay, so here I want to go through the pictures I took of this radio as I have one now. Okay. So here's the front of it, all right? Here's the um, uh, the FM stereo end, if you will. And then here's the back. And I want to point out that this has um, has a battery cover. takes 8D batteries. And up here, it's got uh, your line in left and right, which is 3.5 millimeter mono or 8th inch jacks. They're left and right specifically. That's line in and that's line out. Okay, and there's no antennas, all right? None whatsoever. Okay, so no antennas. And while I'm here, well, I got another picture. I, I know I do. All right, so here's the battery compartment. It's kind of dusty. Uh, not, it's just dirty, dusty. Okay, it's got a good, nice foam there to it for the battery cover. Here's the. Um, it's that's what it is. It's got world voltage. It does have a switch inside the battery compartment. So you can change it to 220 in case you wanted to run it on that, but I don't need it. Alright, so here's the, uh, this is the tuning end. There's only, all you can see is a tune knob, and that's it. Okay. And here's the bottom. You know, it's got some scratches. It's been places, you know. Alright, and then here's the top. Again, now this is the model that has uh, the, um, this has the, treble, bass, balance, and volume, as well as a five-band equalizer. And then over here you have your standard pause, stop, fast forward, rewind, play, and record. And then over here you have your AFC, AFC on and off, and then your mono stereo. Now one interesting thing about the mono stereo is that that works both for the radio and the cassette, unlike other radios where it's just there for the uh, tuning better of the radio on FM. Okay. This also has a tape, which is your off position, um, and then auxiliary input, and then radio, and then radio. It has FM, medium wave, short wave, and short wave two, short wave one and two. So it says multi band up there. All right. So moving along, here's another picture of the top. Okay. Um, you know what? Let me go back to the front. I took a picture of the front, but I didn't zoom into that. Wait. Okay, yeah. Let me point this out. This has a, a power level meter which works, but it only at a high volume uh, for it to come on. So, and there's your headphone jack, which is a 3.5 millimeter stereo headphone jack. And here's your uh, plus or minus 10 decibels, uh, 100 cycles, 700 cycles, 3 kilohertz, 6.3 kilohertz, and 10 kilohertz. All right. The six, the the ten kilohertz, you really can't hear too well, but the rest of them you can. Um, that's just, I don't know, that's just me. Maybe I'm losing my hearing. Okay, so I'm back. That that that, the bottom, the top, the top again. Okay, here's the back. These are the way the screws come off when you take it apart. So it takes those six screws there. When I cracked it open, it was rather dusty inside. You know, like that. Okay. Then here's another picture when I well I lowered the back down to get a picture like that. Notice the uh, flat uh, 300 AM uh, cable, but we'll get to that in a moment. Another picture. Okay. And then here's the uh, just a picture like that for my reference so I know what goes where or where it came from. And then here again, this is the power uh, lead that plugs into uh, right there as I discovered later. Okay. And then here I unplugged it, so I took a picture again. You never can have enough pictures. So here it is with the um, uh, the back of it there. Here's a good picture of the woofer. It's a 4 ohm, 3 to 6 watt GHT C16 K25. I don't know, I have no idea who that is. Now here's a flash picture of the uh, amplifier board. Okay, here's a flash picture of the tuner board. And then here's a Flash picture of the uh, the equalizer board and the power uh, level thing, and uh, I, uh, I didn't take enough. Well, 
again here's the amplifier board here I removed the amplifier board and then here I'm just there's more plugs on the amplifier board to unplug so I took pictures this here right in the center this bar right there that is the recording bar switch I cleaned that okay um, here is the tape deck it takes one belt in the front and another one for the tape counter and that's it so here's the tape counter belt and here's the and then this is a jack shaft right here this drives the front side uh, stuff which is this here okay so that uh, drives I believe this gear here because then this gear is an idler uh, and then this here the whole issue with this radio is this this uh, tire which you can barely I didn't rotate it for this picture but right there it's broken it's there's not even any tire right there that's there's nothing there it's just dead space rubber dead space and rubber again so it's no good all right so here again is another picture somewhat better of that tire again it hadn't moved much but as you can see it's missing you got rubber blank space and rubber that's not good as a matter of fact here's another crack right here here's another crack in the rubber so that tire is your take up real spindle tire and it is driven it is driven by this right here which is the spindle which is off the end of the jack shaft and then the outside gear drives you fast forward and you wind as it flips from one side to the other. All right. But this is the idler tire, which I'm always preaching about. You can change the belts all the time in the world, but when this idler tire goes bad, uh, nothing's going to work. So you got to have those happy little idler tires. All right. So now here I'm trying to remove the idler tire without uh, bending any of this uh, apparatus. So here's another view. I just wanted to show how thin this tire is. Okay, and here if I zoom into it, you can see the dry rot that it has. So these tires don't last forever. You know, see the dry rot in that? Okay. That's what happens to all these tape decks. So this happy little dry rot and then the tire breaks and then take up real doesn't spin and eat your tape and you wonder why. That's why. Right there. Okay, so here I'm trying to measure it, and I got approximately um, 12, no, 14 millimeters is what I said. 14 millimeters is the diameter of the uh, ID needed for a, uh, for, for a thing, for a tire. I found one. I tried an O-ring. Just show you an O-ring here. I'll get to that in a minute here. Here's an O-ring. And there is the original tire, you know, broken, okay? So you like that? That's my hand, and that's an O-ring I tried. The O-ring worked, but I, I eventually found one last remaining thin tire that would fit. Now here's the amplifier chip for those that are, it's a UPC1185H NEC, and it's like a, it's like about a seven watt per channel amp. So it's seven watts a channel, I think. Here's another better view after I cleaned off with a Q-tip to try and get a good picture of it. But there's, a, there's the amplifier chip for this, for people that uh, follow that sort of thing. So it's, again, it's a UPC1185H by NEC Japan. There we go. Here's the old belt that I took out. It was roughly 125 millimeters. That's the old belt. I put on something a little bit smaller to make it run better with the new idler tire that I, or not new, but the idler tire that I found that fit, that I had, the last one that size. So this again is, or, oh, okay, that is, okay, I'm sorry. This is a picture of the idler tire that I found, the ID of the idler tire that I have there is actually too big of a diameter but the outside diameter is just enough just good enough to allow when it's at, at rest to not be this doesn't this is not actually turning because this is not this is not being driven so in stop mode or fast forward rewind this is not doing anything so that's good uh, the tire is a bit large uh, I didn't take a picture if if I were to push the tire up, 
to one side, you could actually see daylight from the, from the top inner edge of the tire to the outer edge of the wheel. You could actually see daylight, but that doesn't affect it because all we're interested in is, is doing is transferring energy from uh, this uh, spindle here, which is driven, to the tire, and then back over here to the take-up spiel. That's all we're interested in. So if it's got a little extra free play back up in here and not touching anything, it don't matter. Just as long as it works, it works. So that's what we did here. If I had the proper tire, I would have put it on, but I don't have one, so that was the closest I had. So here's just another view of that same tire. Um, again, touching and not touching, and um, not, you know, so it, it, it fritz, it worked, and there's the old tire for comparison. Okay. So here's what the, just a picture of the unit without the, there is a microphone over there, and the other microphone's under that panel, and the tweeters are over here, and so on. So on. And there's the phone, there's the tweet picture of the microphone right there, so I wanted to make sure of that, because it does have stereo microphones, and here's the other stereo microphone right up underneath that. Okay. Then it got a bath. Yep. And then here I tried, um, okay. I tried taking, I wanted to see if I could improve the sound, which I was able to do, kind of, but it's, it's my ear versus yours versus everybody else's, so. Uh, but I tried putting a lucky speaker in, and I actually had to solder it in and, and screw it down, and then I went through the balance and tried left to right. And um, anyway, that's the speaker I took it out of. And like that. And then here, okay. So here it is. So that's the speaker. That's the original versus the Lucky. This is the Lucky on this side right here. If you notice, it has a larger magnet. And it's just a hair taller than this one. So, um, and it sounded pretty good. So here's, you know, this this is this is up on a panel. That's why they're not the same diameter looking, but they are the same. Okay, and then here it is installed, just looking like that. I was toying with it to see, because it got a nice white woofer, and I was trying to see if a white woofer, and it's got a bigger uh, mylar uh, thing. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, so here's a picture with a flash, just to see it looks like that. What like that. And then here it is, you know, installed in the back, and I almost put a second one in, but I said, no, nah, let me let me keep it original, because this is kind of rare, and um, if I, well, if I were to keep it, I'd probably put the a different woofers in, because, but anyway. And then here, I just, I took this picture, because this is a Helix 4636. Remember, it didn't have any antennas, so I took the antennas from... The Helix 4636, because they're nearly the same size, length, yada, yada, yada. But this deck works, whereas this one here doesn't. Or it needs a lot of work to it to make it work, and I just wasn't interested. I'm not interested in this Helix, but I will sell it. I have two of them. Let's see, and then, oh, we're, okay, so I'm done, right? So, those the pictures I took today, and there's my mileage. Okay, so let me get out of here and go back to what's a good picture. Um, I guess the beginning. Where is the beginning of this? Again, where's the front page? Front picture is what I want. There we go. All right. So now I just want to. Again, this has the you know the unique feet. Oh, and, oh, that's right. Oh, you know what? I said all this. How much time have I got on here? Fourteen minutes. Hot damn. All right. I'm gonna have to run. I'm coming. All right, so, all right, I'm back. I'm prepped now. All right, so here, let me, all right, so where's the remote? So I want to zip out of this. All right, 1439, okay. Now I want to just rotate down. Here's the thing. Is that wide out all the way? There we go. Great. So, I'm going to be quick about this. All right. Well, here, bottom line. Uh, let's see here. So, here it is in all its glory. 
What? Okay, well, if I don't... Let's see here. Do I have... It? I didn't even plug it in. All right, well, it's, it's running on batteries, okay? So here is... Wait, put a tape in. Okay, so here. Put a tape in. Okay, so... Project. Go this in anywhere. Hit play. <laughs> Throw this in. How much time I got in here? Uh, I can't see the little thing in the window. 1538, because when it gets to 16 minutes, I gotta shut this off. Alright, so here, hit play. <laughs> Alright, so that works. That works. The radio works. The radio works, but the last point out is that the, um, I need to actually take this off of here and just get the camera up close and personal with this 16 okay drop this right, so the, what does the 200 mean the 200 means okay the 200 means that it is 200 millimeters of the um, 200 millimeters